All right, what do you think about people that chase a career in entertainment late into 20s slash early 30s rapping acting? Do you think they should just settle for a regular job? Nah, never settle, man. Like, obviously, you got to be realistic, though, because there's a lot of people that want to be a rapper and you're not a lyricist, man. There's a lot of people that want to be a rapper because of the lifestyle that is portrayed by it. Yeah, gal and cars and money and yachts and, and uh, fame and jet airline, jet planes and all of that shit. But they're not a rapper. They're not a lyricist. They just, they just want to make music videos and portray to be rappers and that, but they're not actually talented. Most of these rappers that you see, like these UK rappers, none of them are actually, most of them are not actually talented. They're not, like, there's certain men that are just born to be rappers. They're, they're literally born poets. Literally, that's what rap is, rhymes and poetry. Man like Papoose, SP the fucking ghost blood. These are real serious rappers who can just spit Eminem. They, they, before, back in the day, they ranked Eminem as the best rapper in the world, number one. You remember MTV Bass back in the day, yeah? I, I don't know if MTV Bass still exists. Channel, was it 343 or something like that? So, someone put in the comment section below what channel MTV Bass was or still is. Because I remember what channel you was. I think it's called channel AKA 360, 360, innit? Um, but yeah, MTV Bass had one, you know, like they used to have the little shows late at night. It weren't just strictly music and that. Um, yeah, they had this, uh, me and my mum was watching it and they had like the top five rappers of all time. This was back then, early, uh, let, let's say, for example, 2003. So there was no, there was no two chains or no future. These men didn't even exist. Like, these men, they were young bucks back then. Innit? So like, I think like number five was like Nas. I don't know who number four was, but between Biggie and Tupac, they were two and number three. So Biggie and Tupac was either number two or number three. And then Eminem was number one. And my mom couldn't understand, like, how can he be Eminem and that? But the thing that my mom didn't understand was rapping is not just about uh, writing down bars and rehearsing them and then making videos and that. Even if you're mad talented in that. Being a rapper, being a lyricist is about being able to clash, being able to freestyle, you know. A lot of rappers that we see right now, 99.9% .9 of them, they can write bars. And a lot of these people have people writing, uh, have songwriters, that have people that write bars for them. But, and and they, just, they just perform it. Man like Eminem, a man like that, he can freestyle, he can clash. You know how difficult it is to clash and freestyle, come up with things off the dome. And even a clash is even worse because you have to talk about that person as well. It's a, a different level of skill to be able to clash and freestyle. Anyone can turn up with a Rolls Royce nowadays and put all these different Instagram models in their videos and that. And yeah, have a, have a hit song on that. But they're not necessarily lyricists. And the perfect example of that is Bobby Schmurder, a one hit wonder. Hot nigga, that was fucking fire. When that song came out, oh my God, man had that on repeat. Full blast in my car, you know. I used to drive down the road and like the school kids and, and that would be, and I would be playing that song loud and I swear to God, I'll have a whole bus stop full of youths dancing to this tune when this tune first came out. Literally. Literally. I remember one time, <laughs> there's this school called Highlands. I'm driving towards Enfield Town. I'm playing that song. Bobby Schmurda, hot nigger, innit? These little girls are walking past my car on the zebra crossing, so you have to stop for them, innit? They stopped in the road in front of my car on the zebra crossing, and they're doing the Shmoney dance. Literally. That song there, Hot Nigger, was a one-hit wonder. One of them, it's going to be like one of the top tunes in the world, like to have an influence on the world and that. But lyrically, Bobby Schmurda is shit. No one disrespect, he's shit lyrically. He's shit. He's shit. Six nine. The reason why he's so popular is because of the way he looks. I mean, he might actually be um, lyrically all right. I can't really judge because I don't know his music and that. But I guarantee you, yeah, if he did not look the way he looked, he would not be as popular. 110% not. 110% not. A lot of these rappers and that, they're just brands. They're just a face. They're not lyrically that good. If you're a real rapper and that, you don't need all these Instagram models in your video. 
capping asses or Rolls Royce and Bentley and fucking Lamborghini with the doors that come up like that or whatever, innit? Literally, you could just be sitting down rapping to a song. Fair enough, you might have one little girl in it, be like a six black. Can't remember the name of that tune. I might have to re-download that. That was a fucking banger. Um, what's that? Someone put in the comment section below the six black tune. The one um it's in black and white and that. Tune, banger. Can't remember what the fucking name is. Someone put that down in the comment section below, innit? Um yeah, that was a fucking tune, isn't it? Like, yeah, man. If you're a real rapper and that, man like Justin, wow, go on. What's going on? See, that's what I'm talking about. All the original man, they're always coming back. 